Hey everyone, it's Howard here and welcome to our new Aorus 101 series where we show and discuss everything about PC building and components. Today for episode one, we'll be showcasing how to build an AMD PC from scratch. This tutorial is meant for beginner and intermediate builders. So with that being said, let's get started. So when it comes to building a PC, it's all about being careful, calm, and taking your time. These are parts that you bought and the last thing you want to do is rush into the build and make a mistake. Today, we have these parts that we're building with. The core of our build will consist of the Ryzen 7 5800X, the Gigabyte 6900 XT, and the Aorus B550 Master Motherboard. When it comes to PC building, we want to install as many components as we can outside of the case for an easier build process. That being said, we'll first install the CPU. This is done by opening the CPU socket on your motherboard and generally placing the CPU in the correct orientation. You can match up the triangle on your CPU to the triangle on your motherboard for a clear indication of which way the CPU should be installed. Next up, we'll install the RAM. Now this part is probably the easiest part to install and we want to make sure the spacing on the bottom will match up with the motherboard RAM slots. Once that is aligned, we'll push down with both hands until we hear it click, which will indicate that the RAM has been seated into the motherboard correctly. Last up, we'll install the SSD. For this build, we'll be going with the Aorus Gen 4 SSD. For installation, what we want to do is remove the M.2 covering on the motherboard and replace that with the Aorus Gen 4 SSD. Now that we've installed all the components we can outside of the case, we're going to now install the motherboard into the case itself. For our case, we've decided to go with the Aorus C700G. Now, this is a full tower case, which will easily be able to house all of our components and will also be able to add additional upgrades in the future. We'll first be taking our motherboard and placing it into the case lined up along with the mounting holes. Once lined up, we'll take our screwdriver and start securing the motherboard in place. Once this is finished, I like to move on to installing the power supply. After four easy screws, we can finally move on to mounting the CPU cooler. For this, we chose the Aorus Water Force X 360mm water cooler. To mount this AIO, we will want to use the AMD mounting brackets to ensure the correct fitment. For a full installation guide on setting up the AIO, make sure you subscribe to future Aorus 101 content. After the AIO is mounted to the motherboard, we can now go on to plugging in the graphics card which can be done by easily slotting the component into the first PCIe slot. Now we can start plugging things in. We'll first start off by plugging the front panel IO cables into the motherboard. Make sure you read your motherboard manual correctly for the correct placement positions. Next, we'll plug in the AIO cables. There's one for SATA, RGB, and your radiator fans. If you have any additional fans on your case, make sure you plug them into the system fan pins as well. After that's done, we'll go ahead and plug in all the power supply cables to the PC component. You'll of course have your 24 pin for your motherboard power, your four or eight pin for your CPU, and your PCIe cables for your graphics cards. And if you have any 2.5 inch drives, you'll need to use the SATA power and data cables to connect those as well. Now, after all that work, we can finally turn on our PC and enjoy our latest creation. So that about wraps it up for episode one of Aorus 101. If you like the series and the content, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for more episodes from Aorus. Once again, guys, my name is Howard and I'll see you guys in the next video.